hope all is well. There's another letter waiting on your desk. You like the shiny? Hey, look. A partially burned page from Anders' manifesto. You know, I'm starting to think Sandal is watching me. What does your chantry do? I mean, you keep saying how great... Anders and Isabella tell me to stay away from it, but what does it do? The keepers teach the children. Preserve our history before magic. is here just sing the chantry does many charitable works nice to see the champion of Kirkwall isn't got a minute hawk I know this is ancient history, but remember that high town house Bartrand barricaded himself in? Bartrand doesn't exactly need the place now that he's in the sanitarium. I've been trying to sell it. I can only imagine there's a huge market for the homes of deranged killers. Well, the creepy sort of people who are interested are generally not the ones with the coin to take it off my hands. I found a minor noble in Ravain who bought the place sight unseen. But now there's a problem. They say the place is... haunted. Bartran's atrocities must have weakened the barrier between this world and the Fade. Maker, I hope not. I don't think I can fix the Veil through applied use of force. They've noticed some minor problems. Uh, voices whispering in the walls, apparitions, things moving on their own. My hope is it's a relic Bartran brought back from the Deep Roads. We smash it, and the haunting stops. What happens if we do nothing? Best case? They drag me before the Seneschal and accuse me of fraud. The worst case involves Antivan Crows. Can't you do this yourself? 
Hawk, I'm a businessman. Now and then, I shoot people. I don't know anything about ghosts or magic. It's entirely possible that even if I find the thing that's causing the trouble, I won't be able to stop it on my own. I'm not an expert on hauntings, but what if smashing something does not make the problem go away? Ah, that's where things get tricky. You're a mage. You must know something about weird shit. I'm sure you'll be able to figure something out that will help. Very well. We'll investigate the mansion. Again. Thanks, Hawk. I knew you wouldn't let me down.
Onward. There's much to be done. Hey, is that music? Where is that coming from? I don't hear anything. I don't like this. I can't do that. Hey, you want me to do what? Uh, I don't think so. I guess the buyer wasn't kidding. He's not supposed to do that, is it? Not going to happen. What voice? I can barely hear it. I wish I could make out the words. Hello? Is there a ghost? Would you stop that, please? Look at this. My brother's junk was left here. You wouldn't know it, but Bartrand was a sentimentalist. This came from our estate in Orzammar. When I was seven, I knocked over one of Mother's plates and broke it. <laughs> My brother yelled at me for an hour. This was made by the artisans of House Saldras. The clay was from the Adros Etuna River, which never sees the sun. Arr! He was that upset over a dish. I don't think it was a dish to Bartrand. That stupid plate was the whole city of Orzammar to him. Blessed Andraste. This isn't being caused by some random artifact. The idol is still in the house, Hawk. It has to be. did. You know, that didn't make me feel better. Are you real? You've got to get out of here before it comes back. Where's the idol? What idol? Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. Take it easy, Varric. She's telling us what she can. He's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. 
I swear, I don't know anything about an idol. Please. Maker, no! It's starting again!
piece of the idol. No, I should have known Bartran would lie to me. Of course he'd keep a piece of the statue for himself. Think of what we could do with this. Varric, you've been acting strangely since we arrived. I don't think you want to keep that shard. I know you're just trying to look out for me, Hawk. But I can handle this. It's not the whole idol. It's just a sliver. I need this thing. Six years of my life have gone into this. The shard is my only hope of curing Bartrand. It's my only chance to set any of this right. Listen to yourself, Varric. It's already controlling you. You have to let it go. You're not listening, Hawk. I know I can handle this shard. That thing is cursed. It ruined your brother, and it'll ruin you too. Fine. I don't really want to argue about this anyway. Take it. It's your problem now. Maybe Enchantment Boy can dispose of the thing for you. Let's go. I think I could use some air. you a hand with that. Fighting over whose ancestors were the dwarfiest, whose gold is the shiniest. I never understood how he could stand it. Five minutes with them and I need a strong drink. You inherited the family businesses, didn't you? I did. And I drink a lot more now than I used to. Bartran wagered everything on the expedition. Everything for the chance to escape the guild. Make enough money and the guild doesn't matter anymore. You're free. Damnation. Let's keep going. Stay out of the shadows. There are a hundred times more cut purses here than in Lowtown. Good. Carry on. Though the lands suffer a thousand wrongs, the Maker yet notices the smallest of deeds. Have you located any Canari blades? This is what I found. If you find more, bring them to me. Think you can do something with this, Sandal? Is that lyrium? I've never seen anything like that. It's dangerous. Varric suggested Sandal might be able to dispose of it. I think my boy can do better than that. Ooh, enchantment!
Listen, Hawk. I don't know what came over me back there in Bartrand's house. I'm glad you're watching my back. You had me worried there. You never have to worry about me, Hawk. What are you having? Edwina, let's get a couple of drinks here. What are you looking at? Are you one of them? Hawk? Ugh. This is awkward. Whatever it is, I'll hear you out, Varric. Maker, I hate it when you're reasonable. Call me a filthy nug licker once in a while, for pity's sake. Look, I just want to say, it has been an honor knowing you. You're a good friend, Varric. I know. It's hard to imagine what you'd do without me. You know it's six years today. Six years since I found you dragging your tail out of Bartrand's office. <laughs> Here's to whatever comes next. Did I pay my tab this month? I'll sort it out later. What do you say? Let me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts. As should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Well, that was awkward. How do you do, Your Majesty? I've been better. Manlier too, come to think of it. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Your Majesty, may I say what an honor it is to meet you. Well, you could, but you'd be the first today. I fought at Ostagar. What happened there was... a great tragedy. Ah, yes. Yes, it was. Thankfully, the man responsible has paid for that. So, you're a king now. Moving up in the world. Isabella, right? You look... different. Don't we all? I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. I'm surprised you would even know who I am. I know you came here from Lothering. A Ferelden refugee that did well for herself. Against all odds. I have to admit, I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. Things haven't been going well with Orlay. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle. Of which there aren't many. A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Kirkwall is my home now. I understand. Ferelden's loss. Is there to be a war, then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlais isn't the most stable place right now. What's happening in Orlais? 
Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. You were... Uh... So, we're in disagreement. Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle. Of which there aren't many. Aren't they in your kingdom? Why not just kick the Templars out? Ha! Huh. Easier said than done. I'm sure there's something you can do. We'll see what comes of it. Ferelden had a blight to contend with, remember? We're not exactly at our strongest. You've done nothing for the Ferelden's here. And now you want my help. Ferelden's fled everywhere, and we've tried to help everyone who came back. It's all right, Tegan. I wish we could have done more. I suppose it doesn't matter. I was hoping to have your help before Meredith got wind of my arrival, but that's done now. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Protect Kirkwall from what, exactly? You ask me, the biggest threat to this city just walked out the door. But maybe that's the ex-Templar in me talking. Well, I suppose we should be getting back. We should. The hero of Ferelden should be back in Denerim by now. You're always so formal. She has a name, you know. This is the home of Kirkwall's Circle of Magi. I have been stationed here since I was 15. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Hello again, champion. Back to the barracks. I never tire of it. You have no Viscount. It's clear you're suffering without sufficient leadership. That doesn't grant default authority to you or your commander. It would be easier if you cooperated. Wouldn't it? Guard, Captain. Trouble? Yes. He's been hounding me. These Templars strut around as it is, but now it's just... out of hand. Knight Captain Cullen has heard some troubling things. Such as? That you coddle the men. Give special treatment. Someone has dared. Who? Who accuses me of this? No names given, of course. No wonder the lieutenant was harassing me. Bastards. If they think I'm coddling anyone, it'll be my husband, Donick. You and I will intercept his patrol tonight. Then you can see for yourself if I'm coddling him, or any in my command. I don't have to see proof. I already believe you. Of course you do. But nobody questions my leadership without a response. Cullum wants to know if these things are true. You'll be able to tell him. Donick's patrol, Hawk. Me and you, tonight. Accuse me of being soft. Not in this life. I wonder if I should try coming back tomorrow? Mages abound in the shadows. How lovely for the 
person who is not myself who must deal with me. Lethalon, I need to ask something of you. I thought the Arulin home would be the last thing I needed, but the Illuvian still won't work. I think... I think I have to go back to the... spirit that helped me at the start of all this. Why do you think this demon will help? He knows about the mirror. I don't know how much. He won't tell me everything, and it's dangerous to trust. He said he witnessed its forging. He told me how to cleanse it of its corruption. He must know how to make it work. What do you mean, it doesn't work? Well, look at it! Do you think it's supposed to just sit there and show nothing at all? I can feel the power in it, but it's like it's asleep. I can't seem to wake it. Summoning a demon can't possibly be the only way to fix the mirror. Someone else must know something. The Alluvian was lost before Arlathan fell. The only creatures who would know anything about it are in the Fade. I've called to the spirit, but he doesn't seem to hear. He was sealed in an artifact on Sundermount. I have to look for him there. But if things go wrong, if he possesses me, I need you to strike me down. You would risk becoming an abomination for this mirror. How is it worth that? Marvin, you of all people should understand. I would gladly sacrifice my life to help my people. There's no one else I trust. Please, Marvin. I don't want to go into this alone. If you're determined to do this, then I'll come with you to make sure nothing goes wrong. Masaranas, you've no idea what a relief that is. The demon is sealed in a cave on Sundermount. The sooner we get this over with, the better. Elganon, six years in this place and I still can't fix the holes in the roof. Good to see you again, sir. I can make it for you. Sooner you all leave this place, the better. It is good to be among my people here. Watch your steps, yeah. Careful, you don't young Sham. Your daily shirt, not your people. Welcome home.
This isn't a homecoming keeper. Why is the clan even here? You should have moved on ages ago. The clan still has business here, Dalen. We will leave when it is time. It was time three years ago. You can't stay here. Eventually, the humans will force you to leave. There are plenty of hiding places in these mountains. We will stay until my business is done. If you are not returning to us, what has brought you back? If one of the Dalish becomes an abomination, what do you do? If you are hoping the Dalish hold miracles, child, I'm afraid you will be disappointed. Even if the demon is driven out, the soul is left scarred. It can never recover, not truly. Like a wounded animal, it will fall prey to scavengers. The only cure is death. How can Merrill fix the Alluvian? I wouldn't restore that cursed thing, even if I could. It has stolen life and promise from my clan already. And this was the least treacherous thing it was capable of doing. You must come to your senses, Meryl. This evil cannot be allowed in our world. It is part of our world. It has been in our world for centuries. No one is pained more by Maheriel's loss than I, but the mirror wasn't responsible. But I'm wasting my time. You'd rather fear the past than reclaim it. This is pointless, Hawk. Let's go. Are you sure you want to do this, kitten? Not even a tiny bit. It's not too late to go back, you know. I have to finish this. I've sacrificed too much just to walk away.
it's done. Mithal, all mothers, protector of the people, watch over us, for the path we tread is perilous. Save us from the darkness, as you did before, and we will sing your name to the heavens. Sorry, I didn't mean to hold us, you just... It's never wise to ignore Mithal. Who or what is Mithal? She's the protector, the mother of the creators, the one who put the moon in the sky, wisest of all the gods. When Elganarn defeated his father, the sun, 
The Earth was plunged into darkness. Everything was about to perish. Mithal appeared then, calmed Elganan, and restored the sun to the heavens. The people always look to her for help. There's no need to worry. Nothing will happen. I hope not. But the people never neglect Mithal's shrines. She... It's dangerous. They say if Mithal smiles on you, then you need fear nothing at all. But those who anger her, they're struck from the earth, as if they never lived at all. What should we be prepared for if something goes wrong? I'm not entirely sure. I've never seen an abomination myself. <laughs> <laughs> So you want us to come and watch for something, but you don't know what? It's just a precaution, I believe. Nothing will go wrong. Oh. How far is the cave, exactly? It's beyond the graveyard. Rather far, I'm afraid. And you went up there alone last time, despite undead and giant bug-like things roaming at times. No. The first time the Keeper went with me, we both heard the spirits call. 